Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So today we are going to make a flower. So we have a piece of paper here. It's uh, very vanilla and um, I have the pansy, pa the pansy punch, the petite petal punch and the fun flower punch. And what basically what we're going to do is we are going to cut out or punch out rather four fun flowers four pansy flowers this flower you're going to be amazed at how realistic it is all right four of these and so it's so easy to make this flower you probably have these punches Two of the petite petal. Right, so these are the punches that we're going to be using. Then we are going to bring in our piercing mat. I have here a brad, it's just a brad from somewhere, I can't remember, it's not stamping up, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you have is fine. Uh, if you have stamping up ones, perfect. If not, just you know, anything will do, any brad will do. A brad is the easiest one, easiest way. Then you're going to line up your um, oh, your fun flowers um, make sure oh, what am I doing make sure that they don't overlap so that they um, so that they not sort of yeah so they're all in a different position the leaves the petals then you put the pansy one on top and then again make sure that they don't overlap so that they're all in different directions the petals and then on top of that you put your petite petal ones and again making sure it doesn't overlap then in the middle you're going to pierce a hole which is why you need your piercing mat and you need to press really hard because you've got quite a few layers of paper here make sure yeah, I'm through. I'm also through my piercing mat, <laughs> but that's okay. That's what it's for. Um, oh dear, I got some ink on there from my uh, previous stamping, so make sure you don't get that. <laughs> make sure your piercing mat is clean. And what's that on there? Is that my... Oh, it's only a bit of fluff. Right. Then you put the brad through, she says. It's not easy. Okay. And then you open it up on the other side by putting your piercer in between and by opening the metal bits there. Right, so this is okay. And then you sort of press down on it so it's nice and flat. As you can tell, I haven't got my uh, mat, my um, oh, there goes my piercing tool. As you can tell, I haven't got my, um, pick it up quickly, um, my grid paper underneath because this is what we're going to be using. This is a stamping spritzer and I've just filled it with water. Now, uh, I am planning on filling, on putting some reinker in here so it's got a colour, but I haven't done that yet. So I'm just making my flowers plain, um, very vanilla coloured. And we are going to spray. And what you do then is you lift up the petals. Now I find it easier. You can do it just with your nails, but I find it easier if you just go in between with your um, piercing tool and you squash them together. Spray again. Make sure you always have the spray facing the flower because I have sprayed myself before. Um, so to, I just lift up the petals with my uh, piercing tool and then I squash them together into the middle, like this. Spray, always check which where your sprayer is. And also you need to, it's easier when they get a bit bigger, but you need to spray underneath as well, underneath the petals. And this paper can actually take this amount of water, so do be liberal. Spray on every layer can hear it squelching already 
Um, needless to say, this will have to dry once we're finished with it. I have got a finished article here to show you. You know, the one I did earlier. But I'm not showing you yet because I tell you, it is so pretty. I saw this online. Uh, somebody else um, did this. And I can't for the life of me now remember the name of the person. I will put a link underneath my video, I think. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so you keep on doing that. So you're squashing the petals together. Look at the water coming out. And last bit, pansy one. So we bring that up. Okay, and we. The whole bottle, um, you can only do two or three roses with this, so um, you need to, um, you know, you do need to reuse quite a lot, and you will be filling it up quite a lot as well if you're making a lot of roses or flowers in any case. I have to get underneath the petals as well, so I'm. Um, holding them up and then spraying it. See it's easier when they're bigger because you can peel them off. There we go. And once again you squeeze them in and we want some water on there as well. Goes really quickly doing this. Right, we're already on the last flower there, and then the last one you just take it in, like that. Now if you're making a composition, obviously you could leave one like this, because you might need it uh, to fill up a space or something like that. Um, right, so a good squeeze. Right, then what you need is a knitting needle or something of the sort. So I have this red thing. I've had it for donkey's years. I can't even remember where. I think I can remember where I bought it. Uh, but I don't know what I use it for. Pro probably for my polymer clay um, creative period that I did there. And then, can you see, I'm just rolling back. This one is almost torn off. Not to worry, if you don't move it anymore, it'll be okay. So you do have to be very careful now, because the paper is now very, very weak with all the water. So I'm taking the leaves and I'm just rolling them over my stick here. Let me see if I can put this closer. Bring it up. See? What I'm doing is this. I'm laying it on the stick and I'm rolling it back. See? And you have to be really careful now. But can you see the veins we've created in there? So this is almost torn off, so I might, when that's dry I'll have to put a little bit of uh, sticky tape on the back. don't know how that happened, I was trying to be careful. So this way you're shaping the leaves over your... And just keep going. If they're, they're a little bit um, wrinkled, that's okay. Real leaves are wrinkled, so right, so keep going. So we keep on doing that, and then once we get to the petite petal ones, we need to just be a little bit more careful as well. Okay, so now is there one more? Yeah, they're still. It's really funny doing this while I'm watching on the on 
on the screen. Okay, so now we're on the petite petal ones. And once again we're rolling them back just like we did before. So just peel them down. And you could do th some of these with your fingers like I'm doing now because you don't want to you don't want to peel them back too much. You just want to open them up and have some of it going back, see? Okay, and I think I might just squeeze the middle together a bit and I think I might leave it like this. So this now needs drying and when it's dry it's going to look something like this. So this one is wet, I'm going to carefully put it down and this one is dry and it's kept its shape, the paper has kept its shape, but look how it has actually dried as if it's it's you know the you can see the veins in the flowers I'm really I really like these and I've made some more here this one I made with the blossom punch you can see the edge is different this one is made with the fun flower punch and then this one here I made this one this is smaller so I stopped after the pansy punch. I didn't add on a bigger one. So this is just the pansy punch, punch and the um, the petite petals. So yeah. Um, so I've already made three ones. I'm going three flowers. I'm going to make some more, and hopefully, I'll be able to show you what I'm going to do with them in the next video, or at some point anyway. I'll be making these flowers as and when I feel like it, and then we'll see how where it takes us. I hope you like my video. Give me a thumbs up if you do <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye!